Hi guys, um, today we're doing a Ting Ting's That's Not My Name inspired look and um, I'm using Urban Decay products and NYC and um, the colors I'm using are cherry, this really light pink, it ends up showing up white, and then I'm using twice baked and for the eyeliner I'm using an Urban Decay, just a black eyeliner, this side, not the purple duo side, and um, I'm using Prestige's duo, and I'm using the skin tone color. It's really shimmery though, so if you don't like shimmery, I guess use a matte color, but um, yeah. And then for my mascara, I'm using Lash Precise by NYC, and this is Black is Black. So, um, let's get started. Actually, I'm going to use these products wet, so I'm going to grab a wet wipe, and I just got mine at Target. They were like a couple bucks, not too expensive. And I'm just going to wet down my brush and go ahead and take cherry and dip my brush in it. And we're going to go ahead and put this over the lid, but don't go up into the crease. really light. I may add another. There we go. And so I'm going to go ahead and clean off my brush. And go ahead and take, take out again the same brush, wet, and dip it into twice baked. And you're going to put it in your crease. You just want a really thin line, not too thick, but the crease is extremely defined. So, we may go over it a few times. Just like that, and flick it out at the bottom, like I did on this eye. go ahead and dry off my brush real fast and dip it back into twice baked and go over it one more time just to make it a little bit thicker and to bring out just like that all right and that's it for eyeshadow for now and we're gonna take our NYX or NYC sorry our eyeliner and um, black and we're just gonna run this along our lash line make sure you line really close to your lash line what I like to do is when I do my eyeliner I close my eye and I pull my lid tight or taut just so I can run my eyeliner pencil across and you're gonna flip Flick it up at the end and have it come out and meet that brown, that twice baked, just like that. And then you're going to run it along your bottom lash line, really close to your lash line. Because we just kind of want the eyeliner to be subtle. like that. There we go. And 
and now we're going to take our highlight color, which is this Prestige, prestige um, that's this uh, skin tone color. What you want for a highlight is you want a color extremely close to your natural skin tone or something that's light just to uh, blend out any harsh lines. And we're going to put that all the way up on our brow bone. Just like so. And I know it doesn't show up very well on my camera, but um, basically all you use a highlighter for is to blend out any harsh lines. Sorry, I was just taking more twice baked and putting it in my crease and making, flicking it out a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and add more cherry to my lid, just like that. And I'm going to bring this twice baked down more into my tear duct. I just kind of want my eyes to be even. And now we're going to curl our lashes. And I'm using a CoverGirl eyelash curler. It's just maybe four bucks at like Target, H-E-B, or Walmart, anything like that, and just curl your top lashes. And I'm taking my mascara, which is Lash Precise, and I'm just putting that on my top lashes, and I'm also going to do my bottom lashes. And then put it on your bottom lashes. go. That's basically the entire look. Um, I've already done my face. What I used was, um, what is this? This is Neutrogena, the skin clearing um, base, and it's in softest gold, or number 40. It looks like crap, because I use it all the time. I'm almost out. And, um, over that, I use, this is from, I just used this bronze color right here. It's just an eyeshadow. I just used a bronze color. And, um, I did that as my contour, which basically, if you just suck your cheeks in like this, and you put it right along that line where you suck in your cheeks, and you blend it out. And then I used... And just a light pink blush right here on the apples of my cheeks and I brush it up towards my hairline and that's about it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it's only the second one I've done and um, I hope it was easy I hope you guys understood it um, and hopefully I'll get some more tutorials up and uh, maybe an update and maybe a few days, I guess. So, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!